All right, here we go. You ready for our last review day and our last math day together for the school year? So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do lots of word problems, not lots, but we're gonna do three word problems and they're all gonna tie together. So let's get started. Go ahead and set up your word problem just like this and then we'll begin. Here we go. Our class has been learning from home 12 school days in March and 22 days in April. How many days were we home in both months? So what we need to do is we're gonna to need to start off by doing cubs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write C-U-B-S over here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna circle my numbers. So I've got the number 12 and I've got the number 22. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cross off the C. Now, what word do you think I need to underline in the question? That's right, I'm gonna actually underline both months because what I want to know is not just in one month or the other but them together so I'm going to go ahead and cross off the U. I can go ahead and box my question and cross off my B and then I can get started. So I know that I had 12 school days in March so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw quick tens and ones and I want you to do the same. So we're going to draw 12. So there's 10, 11, 12. And again, you'll notice that I left space so I can draw my other ones. Now the next thing I'm going to draw is 22. So I've got 10, 20, 21, 22. See how I did that? So now I can go ahead and count it. And I'm actually going to have us draw our tens and ones frame over here. We have a tens and ones frame. So I have one, two, three tens. And now I have one, two, three, four ones. So if I look at it, I have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 34 is my answer, isn't it? Okay, so now we're gonna fill in our number bond. So we had 12, and that was in March, so we're gonna label that March. And then we have 22, and we're gonna label that A for April. So now we need to know how many days, D for days, that we have all together. Now, we can go ahead and punch 12 and count up 22, or punch 22 and count up 12, but that would be quite a lot, wouldn't it? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of break it down for our tens and ones. So if I look at my ones, I have two ones here and two ones here. Two plus two is four. And then I'm gonna do my tens. I have one 10 here and I have two more tens here. So one plus two or two plus one is three. So again, my answer is 34. Now we're gonna do our number sentence. Now the way we're gonna do our number sentence, we're gonna actually turn it into a number problem. We're gonna have 12 plus 22. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we have our box and we're gonna have our line going down the middle so it separates our tens and ones. The reason we do this is because sometimes we need the box and sometimes we don't, but at least it's there if we need it. So now we're gonna add our ones because we always start with our ones. So we have two plus two, which is four. So do we have any tens in the number four? No, so we can go ahead and cross off the box. So now all I have to do is add one plus two or two plus one, which gives me my Three. So again, my answer is 34. So we have to now answer our question. It said, how many days in both months? So we're going to say in both months, there were 34 days. And we're going to go ahead and put the 34 in the middle and go ahead and cross off the S. And that's the first part of our problem. Because think about it, we've only, we've been in school, we've been out of school teaching from home now, uh, March, April, we still have May and June to do. So part two is going to be May and June. Hold on. All right, here we are for part two. So here's what our problem says now. Our class has been learning from home 20 school days in May and 10 school days in June. How many days were we home in both months? So I didn't change anything except for the numbers and the months. So I circled the 20 and the 10 just like we did the last month in the last problem. And then the same word is underlined and we boxed the question again. 
So this time we're just going to do the problem using 20 and 10. And this one's pretty easy, isn't it? This one's an easy one. So let's go through it. So we have 10, 20 for the month of May, and then 10 for the month of June. So if I have my 10s and 1s frame, I have three tens, but I have no ones. So we've been together, you got it, 30 days. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do our number bond. Our number bond, we have to label this one M for May, this one J for June. So we have May, we had 20 school days. June, we had 10 school days. So total days is what? Well, we can punch it out, this one, because we can count by 20. We can count by 10, so we could go 10, 20, and then 10 more is 30. So we have 30 days. The other way we could do it is this. We know our ones are not going to change, so those stay zero. So then what we have to do is add two plus one more, and that gives us our three. So now this one here, we're just gonna write a regular number sentence. 20 plus 10 equals 30 and go ahead and put a box around that and put that here in the middle. And now we have to answer our question. How many days were we home in both months? We could say in both months there were 30 and put a box around it days. And again, this one shouldn't have taken you any time at all. You probably could have done it on your own. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be putting them together and seeing what we come up with. So hold on. Okay, here's the last part of our problem. Our class has been learning from home 34 days in March and April and 30 days in May and June. How many days have we been home all together? And if you ask me, the answer is too many, but we're gonna find out exactly how many days. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna circle our numbers. We have the number 34, which we got from the first part of the problem that we did. And then we have 30 days, which we got from the second problem. We can go ahead and cross off our C. This time, I'm not gonna underline the word both because it's not in here. I am going to underline that word that you are used to seeing. Do you see it? All together. That's right. Now we're going to box the question. And then we're going to get started to find out how many days we've actually been learning from home. So here we go. So we've got 34, 10, do this with me, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Now, we have to take the 30 days from the last two months. 10, 20, 30. So go ahead and make your 10s and 1s frame over here, and let's see what we've got. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we have six 10s. 1, 2, 3, 4, and four 1s. We have been home learning for 64 days. Is that crazy or what? 64 days. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in our number bond. So over here we're gonna have M, A for March and April, and we're gonna have M, J for May and June. So we had 34 days here, and we had 30 days here. So what we're gonna do is now take a look at our ones. We know those ones aren't gonna change because I have a four here, but there's a zero here. We added tens to it, so we didn't add any ones. So four stays the same. So now we just have to add our doubles fact. What's three plus three? That's right, you all know that that's six. So 64, again, is our answer. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I've got the number 34 plus 30. We're gonna underline that, draw that, and go ahead and put our box. Now, we have to add four plus zero because we start with our ones. Four plus zero is four. There are no tens in four, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross that off. And now we just have to add three plus three, which gives us six. So again, my answer is 64. So 
I'm going to answer the question, how many days have we been home all together? We have been home 64 days. And do you see how important it is to have the correct answers going all the way through? Because one answer depends on another problem's answer. So you have to make sure you take your time as you do this. It has been wonderful doing math with you. I'm so excited for you to have some time off for the summer. And we'll see you in September.